Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Well, today I am working on a crazy quilt and I have three blocks done and I decided to turn the camera on and do the last block with you. If you've never done crazy quilts before, they're so much fun. Um, so I've got this block and I've got this block and I've got this block. So I'm only going to make four. It's going to be a wall hanging and I'm going to embroider all over it um, with all kinds of stitching and I'll probably add some seed beads and who knows what all. So what I have here is um, an 11 inch. You can start with any size you want and your background can be anything you want it to be. Mine just happens to be muslin because that's what I have an abundance of. <clears throat> so you start with your background piece and we're going to add the first piece. Now your first piece can be any as large or as small as you want it to be, but traditionally crazy quilts are made with five sides. So one, two, three, four, five. So I just took a scrap and I cut it to where it had five even sides. So that'll be our first piece. We're going to lay that down there. This is going to be my second piece. So I'm going to put right sides together. The second piece needs to be slightly larger than the first piece on that end and on that end. And I'm just going to stitch these two together. Now if you line your seams up exactly, your edges, you can't see the piece underneath. So I just bring my top piece back just a hair so that I can see those edges and I'm going to stitch that. Now I wish that I could get you a better shot of the sewing machine stitching, but I've done the best I can with this camera setup and that's just the that's all that's as far as I can get it under there, but you'll get the idea of what I'm doing. Okay, so I've got my little iron on and I am going to flip that right side out and I'm going to iron that seam down. Okay, so we did that one. Now you can go either way you want to go. For some reason I go counterclockwise. Maybe that's just the way that I learned. So now we're looking for a piece to add here. So let's see. I'm using um, the pieces that I'm using here are from a jelly roll except for this the dragonfly I added in there because I really wanted some dragonfly stuff in here so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut me a piece now this is great for scraps but I didn't have the scraps in the right color that I wanted so I'm just cutting a few so I'm gonna put the dragonfly here okay so all I need to do is match up my raw edges I got it upside down and make sure this overlaps and this overlaps. Don't worry if it overlaps too much or if that's crooked or this, none of that matters. Okay, so now I'm going to sew here to here. Now the important thing is start sewing where the two pieces of fabric come together. Okay, so right here is where I want to start sewing. We won't want to start up here on the edge because we're going to trim that off. So I'm going to start sewing there. And we're going to stop sewing right here because that's where the fabric underneath ends. So I'm going to stitch that right there. Okay, so that is stitched. We're going to set the seam and press it open. All right, now we've got this extra and this extra. So we're going to line up our scissors with the seam we're going to cut with. So I'm lining up my scissors and I'm just going to cut straight across that seam. Don't worry about it not being absolutely perfect. They usually are not and that is on a crazy quilt. <laughs> it's quite all right. That's why these are so much fun. Okay, so we started here. We did this one. We did this one. Now we're going to do this seam right here. Okay, so let's turn it around and let's pick, I think I'm going to go with this piece of pink, which I already know is too wide, but that's okay. I'm going to trim it down. So we're going to do this little seam right here. So I'm overlapping 
and I'm overlapping. All right, let's go stitch this one. I'm going to pause the camera on some of these just to make it shorter. But this is a very short seam. And remember, I started and ended where the bottom fabric starts and ends. I didn't go all the way to here. I stopped right there. All right, so we'll set the seam. We'll press it back. Okay, and then we're going to trim. Now, want to line up here, line up with the seam, which you can see is not totally straight, but like I said, it's all right. This one, let's get this up under here. This one's going to line up right here. See this seam? So we're going to cut that right there. And that's going to make this a good bit narrower, which I didn't want it that wide anyway. And I'm cutting it as fairly straight, but like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, so now we're on this seam. So I think because I'm using the same pieces on my block, I'm going to use this. Now you can see if I put that in a straight line, that doesn't line up. It's okay. It'll all be underneath there. Okay, set that seam, fold it back. All right, now, and as you can see, okay, here's our seam. We're, we're lining this up right here in a straight line, and so I'm going to trim this one that way. And no, that's not perfect. It's okay. It's not a problem. All right, I like things that are easy and things that are forgiving <laughs> because nothing I do ever seems to quite be perfect. But that's okay. You know what? I have fun, and that's all that matters. I enjoy it. Okay, so I think we're going to start with this piece next. And since this is a jelly roll, I'm pulling those selvages off, and I'm going to use these for snippet strips. I'm going to make some snippet strips with those. All right, let's see. Where are we? We did this, 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 and this. So now we're going to do that. All right? So, and that's got just a little bump on the end. I'm just going to fix it. All right. So I'm going to put, now you see how this is up a little higher than that? Uh-oh, that's my phone. Okay, so I went ahead and stitched that down. Okay, so now we're on this seam. So I'm just going to continue building on these um, edges as we go around, and I'll bring you back in a minute. Okay, so now I've got everything covered. I'm going to give it a little press, and guess what I see? One little corner right there that I missed. Now, because I don't really want one little bitty piece right in there, I'm going to cut this. I'm going to I'm going to make this strip a little more narrow, and I'm going to add one more piece. And I think I'm going to even make it at an angle just so that it... I don't want to get too much going in a straight line. You know, you want to keep it a little on the wonky side. So I'm going to add one piece there. Okay, so that worked out pretty well because I didn't realize I only had one blue in the whole thing so far. And I try to do at least two, if not three, of each color. So now you can see that it's all kind of um, overlapping. I'll show you what it looks like from the back. So now I'm going to go and I'm going to square this up. I'm going to go and trim this and square it up. Okay, there we go. I'm going to give it one final press. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take it to my machine and I'm just going to stitch around the edge, just kind of like a basting stitch. I usually use a large stitch for that just to hold all the layers to all the layers all the two layers together oh that's something else i was going to show you i had to overlap this one a good bit so you see this up under here that's how much i had to overlap so i'm going to trim that out just so that we don't have all that extra bulk up under there um so that it'll be ready for embroidery and then i'm just going to stitch around the edges Okay, so there is our finished block, and it doesn't matter how many of these you make, they always come out different. They're similar, but you'll never be able to duplicate two, which is one thing I love about it. Anyway, so now these are ready to be embroidered, and then after I have um, started on some of these, 
I will come back and show you my progress in another video. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you've had fun. Go out there and have a creative day. Bye-bye.